What is up commanders, Red Side Guy here and welcome back to a brand new video on Command & Conquer Remastered Collection. Now Jim Vassella recently had an AMAA and ask me almost anything on Twitter where people just ask random questions regarding the remastered collection. I also asked a couple of questions and although I only looked through one or two of the answers that's been received, I haven't really looked at any of the other answers. So I thought it would be a fantastic idea to go through some of the questions as well as the answers, maybe get some new information regarding the remastered collection. Because through many of my videos, I've been asked a lot of questions regarding the remastered collection and although I appreciate each and every comment, I don't always have the answer. So hopefully we can get some of the answers together. But before I continue, I want to say a huge thanks for all of the support I've been receiving on my content. And as a thank you, I'm going to give away a copy of the collection, the entire Command & Conquer collection on Origin. That includes each and every Command & Conquer that was released, aside from the remastered collection of course. And the way to enter, you have to be a subscriber and just drop a comment below as to what is your favorite Command & Conquer from the collection. The competition will be running until this Sunday, that is the 15th of March, and I will put all of the names together on an Excel spreadsheet where it'll choose a random name as the winner for the entire collection. I will then contact that person on YouTube or Twitter and send them the code for the Command & Conquer collection. Now onto the AMAA, ask me almost anything. As you can see here, two hours ago from the recording of this video, they said quote AMA with lead producer Jim Vassella is now live. Reply to this tweet with your questions about the Command & Conquer remastered collection. Now I already retweeted this and favorited this and like I said I looked at one or two of the answers that was replied by Jim Vassella but nevertheless let's look at some of the answers together. First one was asked by Bike Rush and he said will be an option to play as every faction on multiplayer even though it wouldn't be balanced. For fun it would be to cool, excuse me, let me rephrase that. For fun it would be cool to play as Nod vs Soviets, oh right I see what he's asking here. Or GDI vs Allies, thanks. Asking for this person from Reddit. They replied, you'll actually launch the two games separately. So multiplayer will be restricted to GDI, Nod and then Allies, Soviets within each of the games. That is something I didn't know, something I was curious about as well. So here already you have a confirmation that you cannot play GDI versus Allies or GDI versus Soviet or Nord versus Allies or Nord versus Soviets because it'll be two separate games that is launched. The next question is from Reddit and it is will there be LAN multiplayer? We don't have anything to announce about LAN today but after our multiplayer Reddit post in February we definitely heard that LAN was one of the most requested features from the community. Next question, the original German version of Command & Conquer was censored, is the remastered version also censored? The German version will use the new remastered art assets for gameplay, so soldiers instead of robots. However, we are using the original German VO which does still have a few references to robots and androids. The next question, how big are the Tesla Quill, Obelisk and Mammoth Tank from the 25th anniversary edition? A very good question. Great question, <laughs> you see, it is a very good question. Our estimates are around 4 inches tall for the Tesla coil and obelisk. We're then estimating around 3.5 inches long for the mammoth tank, I can't wait to see them. Will there be a store with the launch for people to buy things like t-shirts or mouse pads? We've heard a lot of people, excuse me, we've heard a lot of love for the Nod hoodie in the past week. We don't have any plans right now. But if there's enough demand, so essentially they're saying that if there's enough demand for some of the content, some of the physical content, then they might look into it. Already pre-ordered, thanks for the support. How much does the dev team look on the Command & Conquer subreddit for feedback and suggestions? I laid out a couple of minor issues regarding the Tesla call there. We've been reading the Command & Conquer subreddit since day one and I do my best to read all the comments from each of my posts. Many of the best ideas for the remastered collection have come from the community. Please keep sharing your feedback here. 
or, or excuse me, there. So just the, the Reddit Command and Conquer Reddit subreddit, I always tell people to go there for a lot of answers and suggestions. The next one is, oh, that red tie guy, I wonder who that could be. Hey, I'll be able to, will I be able to still put in my pre-order for the 25th anniversary edition or limited run by the end of the month, or is it while stocks last? I did ask a second part of the question, but they didn't address that, so they said, yes, you still can purchase the collector's editions up through April 10, so the end of the month would just be fine. I asked this question specifically because, you know, the, the collector's edition or the 25th anniversary edition is essentially $150 without shipping costs, so, you know, I'd rather just wait for payday so that I have some extra cash to burn. Um, and my question was just, you know, can I still um, put in my order at the end of March? And they said, yeah, that should be fine. Did those workers ever get any shoes? Yes, if you bought the upgrade in zero hour. For which systems will it come? Only PC or maybe PS or others? Right now, the remastered collection is only on PC, but we know Command & Conquer has a rich history on console, which is why we've also brought some of the legacy console content, missions and cinematics to the PC for this release. It's something I asked Jim Vasella on Reddit as well, and I did make a separate video on that. Um, from Reddit, will there be subtitles for the cutscenes between missions? Yes, we've added, cin we've added cinematic subtitles for the following languages. English, French, German, Spanish, Russian, Polish, and simplified and traditional Chinese. That's really good to know. Are there any pre-order benefits? Pre-ordering the co collector's edition will lock in your chance to get this limited piece of Command & Conquer history. Pre-ordering any version will provide the benefit of putting a big smile on my face. You see, one of my speculations that I had a while ago was that if you pre-order this game, you might get some sort of, um, I don't know, early entry into the next Command & Conquer, but you know, nothing's been announced about that yet. But I do feel that this is reigniting the Command & Conquer franchise, so time will tell on that one. The next question is a bit of a lengthy one. Hi Jim, will there be difficulty levels on Tiberian Dawn? At the original, at the original is wasn't what? At the original is wasn't and I would like to play it on Brutal. Uh, that is how they per that person did ask it. <laughs> Second, how smart is the AI? At the original, you could block units with sandbags and things like destroying the harvesters and they wouldn't buy a new one. They then replied, I'm glad you asked, we've actually added difficulty levels to the campaign for Tiberian Dawn along with skirmish mode with AI difficulty levels as well. We did keep many of the AI behaviors the same, but I've fixed a few AI bugs along the way. That is good to know that you know you can still use some of the tactics you used in the original Command & Conquer game for the remastered collection. Next person asked, hello, how are you? <laughs> and Jim replied by saying, I'm great. The past 24 hours have been some of the most exciting of my career and seeing the whole Command & Conquer community come together for the reveal yesterday was just amazing. Next person asked, this is a very good content creator, you should check out their YouTube channel by the way. Will the graphics switch work on multiplayer or is it only for campaign? Cheers Jim. The graphics switching took some magical code to work by Petroglyph team. It worked in solo modes, so campaign and skirmish, but not in multiplayer. It's one of my favorite features in the remastered collection. Next question, why are you called a gym turn? So back in 2004, I was an intern with the EALA RTS team making the battle for Middle Earth. During the project, one of the cinematic producers gave me a nickname, Jim Turn. It just stuck on the team and here we are 15 years later. From Reddit, if I buy on Steam, do we need Origin install to play the game on Steam or if we only need to link sign in with an EA account? Um, so basically, the answer is right now, Steam players will need to link to an EA account upon first boot up. However, they will not need to link the Origin and client ins installed. So basically, um, you need an EA account, but you don't need to link it to Origin. Next question, how extensive is the map editor? Can you make single player missions with it? Also, what kind of user content will be possible to put on the Steam Workshop? Yes, the map editor can create both single-player and multiplayer maps. We're excited to see what the community creates. Now, uh, this answer doesn't entirely address the, the question because, of course, you can create maps, but the, the user asked what kind of content, so 
say you want to create essentially what um, Dota did to Warcraft 3, you know, you want to create something like that. I, I hope we can create something like that to the extent of creating like um, almost like cutscenes and stuff like that within the game, you know, that would be really awesome to see. The next person asked, will we be able to set our helicopters and aircrafts on guard mode and make them automatically attack a unit that comes close to its helipad airstrip? I do not believe this is something we've added to the title, but we do have a running wish list of all the community suggestion items and we'll be sure to add this to the list. The next question, is the game fully playable offline? How does this DM or DRM excuse me, work exactly? Excellent question, both campaign and skirmish modes will be playable offline within the 30 day offline rule for Steam and Origin. The only DRM is the standard Origin and Steam authentication, for example, no de novo. So this is also very nice to know, I mean you have your standard online authentication and that is pretty much it, pretty awesome to know. The next question is a bit of a lengthy one and it states as follows. Hi Jim, I was wondering if you guys ever contacted Joe Coogan for anything related to the remaster. Besides his classic role as Kane, he also did a lot of the AMV directions if I recall correctly. Is he aware of the remaster and what was his reaction to role, basically what was Joe's reaction and what was his involvement in this? Did they contact him for anything? They responded, the teams at both EA and Petroglyph are still in close contact with Joe. We did reach out to Joe and he provided his blessing to use several behind the scenes photos for the bonus gallery. We love Joe and he has always been supportive of the franchise. Next question, any bugs fixed included in the Command & Conquer Remastered Collection? Will the multiplayer server be supporting for long? Or will the multiplayer server be supported for long? We don't want to see closing of GameSpy happen again. Yes, the community, the community council has provided a team with lists of bugs from the legacy versions which we've been prioritizing over the course of the project. We fixed some good ones for sure, so that is good to know. Next question, is there any other premium edition that will come within the release on June the 5th? The only reason I have not bought the 25th anniversary edition for now is there could be a better edition like Premier Edition for Riddler 3. Great question, the only editions on June 5th will be the standard digital edition. The limited run collector's edition will definitely be the best version we put out, so you might want to lock that in. Next question, what has been the most difficult part of the remastered process in your view? The terrain was perhaps the most difficult part to remaster. It took months of iteration with the dev team to bounce and bouncing versions of the community council to find a style that felt positive. You'll all be able to play with all of the tiles in the map. Or in the map editor, excuse me. Next question. Is it possible to buy single things from the 25th anniversary box or other Command & Conquer stuff? For streamers, good giveaways. He responded, you won't be able to buy individual items, but you're welcome to purchase the full edition and then give away the individual items if you so choose. We'll look into offerings, offering other merchandise for individual purchases if the community is passionate about it. Hi Jim, how are you doing buddy? I didn't know you were the lead producer on the remastered collection. How have you been dude? Hey, to <laughs> oh, this is I'm guessing like a personal, a person that he knows. Hey to great to hear from you. Yep. I've come full, cir full circle and ecstatic to be working on Command & Conquer again. Next question, do you plan a launch party? I certainly hope the community hosts some awesome events for the launch weekend. Can I get an invite? Even though most information has been, up, been out in the open, I was kind of hoping for a making of DVD and the collector's edition. Can we expect some behind the scenes video footage when the project is complete? We're including over 4 hours of behind the scene video content in the bonus gallery feature. You can watch my FMV reveal from last week to, the whole, to hear the whole story and learn more, about, learn more details. That was of course the video where Jim Vasella found the original tapes. Next question, is there a game speed controller in the remaster like in the original? Yes, you can adjust the game speed for yourself in both campaign and skirmish and then the host can choose it for everyone in multiplayer. Will there be anything to show which skirmish maps you have won on? 
like in Command & Conquer Generals, where stars indicated what difficulty you wanted on. We do show which campaign missions you've completed and at what difficulty, but we don't currently do it for skirmish match. That's a great suggestion though. What are the supported systems? Is it Windows only or are things like iPad an option at some point? We're only focused on Windows PC with the support for Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. How do the radar jammers work? And are there any units that have gotten a rework to make them more viable? Example, medics, thieves, spies. Our goal has been to maintain the authentic... Excuse me, let me repeat that. The goal has been to maintain the authentic gameplay of the classic games. So we've kept the functionality of all the units the same. The next question, if I pre-ordered the 25th year anniversary edition, will I be, to play, will I be able to play on release or I, do, do I need to wait? That's also a question that I had to ask. Both collector's editions come with a Steam code, which will be emailed to you in the days prior to launch on June 5th. That way you can preload and play the minute the game comes out, regardless of when the physical copy arrives. Next question. Just want to say thank you for the remastered, to, for remastering the games. I've pre-ordered the game and can't wait to play it. Thanks for the support. Looking forward to seeing you on the battlefield in June. Will there be a closed public beta test and how long till release? We are not planning on a closed or public beta test, we are, but we are getting a ton of valuable feedback from the community council and feedback on Reddit right now. Have the campaign missions stayed the same gameplay wise? other than the graphical and QOL improvements from the remaster, of course. Yes, the campaign missions are effectively the same gameplay-wise. We have added campaign difficulty levels for Tiberian Dawn and we hope everyone enjoys the graphical and QOL improvements. So obviously quality of life improvements is what he's referring to there and of course Tiberian Dawn didn't have difficulty levels so it's nice to see that um, making the, for the final remaster. Did you all have fun making the remaster? Absolutely! Making the remaster collection has been one of the highlights of my career, especially getting to work so closely with Petroglyph, Lemon Sky and the community. You can unlock the extra content, videos etc just by playing or there will be some sort of challenge. Okay, uh, I get what he's asking. You'll earn a piece of behind the scene content each time you complete a campaign mission regardless of difficulty level. We do track which difficulty you complete campaign missions and so on, so for a true, cha for a true challenge try to complete all missions on hard. So of course I'm guessing he's hinting that you know difficulty levels does depend on, uh, does um, give you different rewards which, which is nice to know. How much of the AI was modernized in the game? Will harvesters still take a agonizingly long routes following cliff faces or will they take smarter, more direct routes? I have to be honest, I think AI is going to be our white whale for this project. We were able to bring skirmish AI to Dabir and Dawn, but we found it challenging to improve certain AI mechanics. We instead decided to focus on other community requested features. So essentially the, the AI is still going to make stupid mistakes. What unit was the most fun to recreate or redraw? Which was the most challenging? For me, I loved rebuilding the Nod flame tank. We were able to bring in a few elements from the cinematic which was su super fun. One of the most challenging was the Orca as the angles in the game made it tough to match the legacy style. Will the game probably run on Windows 7 as well or will I finally have to bite the bullet and upgrade? We are not officially supporting Windows 7, but it should run perhaps with some minor issues. For the best experience, we encourage Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. This is a question I've been asked on a couple of my videos in respect if it will support Windows 7, so there you have a big answer to that. Next question, hey Jim, would you mind setting a small bet for me please? Will both games in the remaster feature 8 player support? I have been absolutely blown away by yesterday's news, thank you so much for continuing to fight the good fight for Command & Conquer. Hello, we are keeping the player numbers the same as the legacy titles, given some of the map restrictions, so 4 players for Tiberian Dawn and 8 players for Red Alert. Sorry if you lost your bet. Will Hell March to the Apocalypse by Tony Dixon, Frank Lepaki and Tiberian Sons be in the Red Alert remaster? 
We focused on the setlist performance at MAGFest along with the community requested Just Do It Up. Hell March to the Apocalypse is not currently included, but we are also big fans of the track. Will there be any new tracks to the remaster other than the covered tracks by the Tiberian Sons? Yes, Frank has actually discovered several unreleased tracks from the original games, which can be unlocked via the bonus gallery. We hope you enjoy them. With the EL ELO system in place, are there any plans to make the Command & Conquer Remastered collection competitive, for example EA held tournaments, or perhaps incentives for TOs to host the tournaments? We're super excited to see what type of tournaments the community is able to host and hoping some of the new quality of life features help with this. We'll start engaging with the community more on this front closer to launch. In multiplayer, can you form alliances with players while in the game like Red Alert 2? Handy for people DC or leave. Does it support different match types 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, free for all etc? Great question, in the new custom game lobby you can set teams ahead of time and have any combination you'd like, so 2v2, 3, 2, 3v2, v3, 1v7, take your pick, up to 4 players for Tabir and Dawn and 8 players for Red Alert. Hey guys, super excited for this and I already pre-ordered on Steam. I have a question about languages, are we able to change them in the settings? Me as a German guy, I'd love to change them to fully English, is language swap included, have a great day. Thanks for the support. Yes, you can simply change the game language in your Steam game properties and play in any of our supported languages. Cheers! Hey Jim, this is just a thank you from our community. This type of transparency is something we need more in the industry and you frankly and you frankly are pioneer out uh, excuse me, let me repeat that. And you frankly are a pioneer of it in my eyes. Hope we see more of hope we see more of you well into the future. Thanks for the kind words. I'm hoping this development style can encourage more of this transparency in the future and foster even further collaboration within the community. What is both your favorite and least favorite unit in the games? It's tough to answer this on the fly but I've always loved the Orca since I was a kid and we iterated on the look of the Orca for months for the remastered version. My least favorite is probably the Mine Layers. Will there be a way to spectate multiplayer games for tournaments and such? Hello, we've added a new observer mode and replays to the game which should help support spectating games. We'll certainly want, excuse me, we'll certainly want feedback from the community on how to continue improving these tools. Next question is a bit of a lengthy one. Huge fan of the franchise, especially the original games. Will there be a game manual included in the physical edition just like when the game originally released back in the 90s? Please include a game manual. Hey there, unfortunately we were unable to include a physical manual in the collector's editions. We're still exploring if providing a digital manual would be feasible for all versions. Will the games have mod support? We were excited to reveal the map editor yesterday but we don't have anything to announce about mods today. In speaking to the community, we know mods is one of the most important and requested items. I don't want to give too much away here on spoilers, but did you keep the alternative GDI ending if you blow up a certain building a certain way? There might be a certain ending in a certain remastered collection that might play a certain FMV in the <laughs> Okay, so if you're familiar with the GDI campaign in Command and Conquer, Tabir and Dawn, then you'll know there's two different endings depending on what you do. So that is saying that yes, it is definitely gonna be there. The next question, was so busy asking questions that I forgot to add to thank you guys for all the hard work. Can you also make sure the people behind the scenes get the big thanks as well? Keep it up and can't wait for the release. Thanks for the kind words. We'll be sure to pass it along this note to everyone working on the project. In terms of the animations, while the frame rate was dramatically improved, why weren't the animations and movement and units smoothed out more? They still operate like the original assets, just running at a higher frame rate. Fidelity is important, but it could have looked better. There were several creative factors here, but a key driver was keeping the animations frame to frame to properly enable the real-time switching of graphics. We have been able to increase the frame on a few cosmetic VFX based on the community feedback from the fall. Next question. 
Will there be an online ladder system or just general online play? We were able to add a 1v1 quick match for both games. This is based on ELO matchmaking system and will also include an in-game 1v1 leaderboard. See you on the battlefield. And that seems to be, no wait, there's a few more questions. Will the unit balance in the remaster remain the same as in the original games? And what about maximum map size in Tiberian Dawn and Red Alert? We've decided to keep the balance and map sizes the same as the legacy titles. The Tiberian Dawn maps support 4 players while certain Red Alert maps support up to 8 players. Do you have some lesser known units available maybe just for single player maps? Such as the Patch Not SM Launcher and the Orcas with freaking laser beams. All of the playable unit content from the original games should have received their remastered treatment. I believe the laser orcas you're referring to were used in a unique console mission which have been brought over to the PC for the remastered collection. Tiberian Sun and Riddler 2 next? Right now we're focused on finishing the remastered collection. The truth is, this is the first PC RTS game we've released in 10 years. Everyone in the company is excited about the release and we're hoping for a successful launch. And that is it, that is a wrap to the AMAA from Jim Vasella. That was a long, long Q&A session basically and one thing that I'm happy about is just how transparent Jim Vasella and EA is about this remaster. I mean, a lot of questions they the people ask directly and he gives them a solid answer. I mean, even if it's not the answer that they want, he gives them a pretty solid answer. So hopefully by going through this Q&A with me, you guys um, got some answers that you wanted. I mean, I certainly got a lot of new information that I didn't even know that I was curious about, like the back of my mind kind of thing. But overall, going through this whole Q&A, I was very happy about it and I cannot wait until this game gets released. But if you guys have any other questions, then let me know in the comment sections below. And don't forget, I am giving away the collection of Command & Conquer, the, the ultimate collection, not the remaster, that's maybe later, but um, the ultimate collection on Origin. So if you want a chance to win that, then be sure to be a subscriber and let me know in the comment sections below what is your favorite Command & Conquer from the entire collection. And for more Command & Conquer remastered content, check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you just like it, then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.